So today I'm going to show you how to tie this rather gorgeous scarf. Um, as you can see, lots of lovely colours and it's good size. So you could use it as a wrap in the summer, you could use it as a sarong. Um, it is 100% cotton and I'm going to show you how to tie it around your neck. I'm going to taper the edges so that the ends aren't so flat and square. I like a slightly softer edge. So the way to, to achieve that is either to take it from the corner. So if I take it from the corner and grab it in the middle, I will have um, coming down to a point the um, scarf. Alternatively, I can fold it in half to make it a slightly less tapered edge, but to still give it a softer float. Um, would be to just fold the fabric of the scarf back in a couple of times. I will show you the effect that that creates. You can see I've just got slightly softer edges um, there. Now I'm also going to twist this. Um, as you can see, I haven't cut the label out, which is a faux pas on my part, because I always say to clients, do cut the label out. There's nothing worse than seeing a label around your neck. So what I'm going to do is wrap this around my neck. As you can see, I've taken one side a lot longer because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop around my neck. Um, tuck that nasty label away. Um, the loop can be as high to your neck as you like, depending on whether you like to have slightly elongated neck or whether you like to have it all snubbed up. I don't like anything too tight around my neck, so I'm going to create um, a bit of a gap. And then I'm going to show you this. There's two ways to do this particular scarf. Um, and I'm going to show you two different techniques. So the first one is you'd go from the outside in. So think of the outside of this scarf. We're going to go across on the diagonal to the other side. Step one. And you can see I've left a bit of a gap, so you can see where that hand is, in between these two. And that's important because this piece is going to go over and through. So we take this side and then we use our fingers to just pull it through. And you have a very effective way. You've got some of those nice soft floated edges um, and you can fiddle with the colours so depending on which colours you want around your face you can fiddle with those a little bit to give you a lift and then you have a nice scarf just nicely tied around the neck. So just to complete that we'll do it one more time because I know some people get confused with this one. So we're going from the outside over, leave that gap there Take the other one, go over and, and through effectively, and then just pull it out, give it, a little, give it a little fiddle, get it where you want it to be. So that's a really nice one. The other way of achieving a very similar look is to fold the two in half and wrap both pieces around your neck. And then you take one of these and fold it through this loop that you've created here. And then through this loop here, you take the other one and fold it back through the loop that way. It's a slightly different look, but a very similar effect. So I'll show you again. So this one is probably slightly more complicated than some of the other techniques I'm going to show you this week. Um, create your, fold it in half, fold your scarf in half, wrap it around, Take one of your ends through the scarf that way. Then you've created your so you've still got a little hole there. Take the other piece and wrap it back through. Fiddle fiddle, and there you have it. Another great way to tie a scarf. So have a go, see how you get on, and let me know.